It is super easy to sign up for free on Podbean.com, the world's strongest blogging software pretending to be a podcast app. But seriously, all you need is your email, a password, and a domain name that's not taken, and you're in. But for today, let me walk you around my very newly created channel to see what you'll experience once you make your own Podbean account. Here you can see our homepage, which is as simple as it gets. You have your channel manager if you have more than one channel on an account, a live streaming option, and a nice list of who you are following and the videos you are liking, along with who is following you. It's all very neatly laid out. But the main work of Podbean is not here on the homepage. The majority of the good stuff is back here in the dashboard. We start with a chart that succinctly shows us how many downloads we've been getting over the past couple of days. It actually looks like I got a download. In Publish, we can go to Episodes and see how many episodes we've published. Here I have a single one, published by the name of Dusk Never Falls, Episode 1, The Opening. I have the option on this page to share and embed this file, update it, or delete it, one of two ways. In Update, I can change the name shown on the outside of the file here. I can also add an image or icon to associate with it. Most of your episodes should be free if you are using the default free channel settings, so make sure the free box is checked instead of premium. And then add a description for your episode for viewers to understand exactly what the content of this podcast or audio file is. In Media Manager, also under Publish in our dashboard, is a list of all the media used in your podcasting channel. In my case, it's not only the audio file of the first episode, but the picture used in the channel icon as well. This helps you keep track of all content uploaded to your channel. Layout is as bloggy as it gets. You can choose from a bunch of themes to modify your website. Here's what our channel looks like right now. These here are pro themes, which we can only acquire if we are on a payment plan, but these down here are the free themes. Let's try this one by clicking Activate. Podbean instantly takes us back up to the top to show it was successful. If you want to edit headers, episodes per page, or background image, just go to Edit next to your theme viewer. There's also a lot more there than just that. To check out any changes you make this way or with your theme, go up here to the name of your podcast, where at the very end in small letters it says View Site. You can click the whole thing to see what viewers will find on your channel. That's very pretty. But let's go back. In Sidebar Widgets beneath Layout, you can choose what kinds of things you want published on your sidebar. You can just drop and drag whatever you want in or out of the sidebar. You can also very easily change the order. Back in Layout, we can also include pages and even edit our own CSS code. Statistics is another good set of charts showing the progress you are making in your listens and downloads. Overview has multiple different charts, with one even explaining your Podbean country demographic. These are actually sample charts for you before you acquire a following, but they are easy to follow and useful to have. The premium setting can be used to upgrade your payment plan if you so desire. Podbean has a tier system that allows for those paying for more monthly to have more bandwidth and storage size. With the free channel, you will only be allowed a total of 5 hours and 100 gigabyte bandwidth but you only have to go up to $9 a month to get both unlimited, so it's really overall not a bad deal if you intend to keep making this kind of content. In Settings, you can finally go to General to change your channel title's name, your channel logo, and give it a brief description. There's also an area in which you can put your channel's category, which helps Podbean sort your channel according to searches and podcasts like yours. The other categories and settings are for your iTunes feed, editing the look of the embedded player for your media, sharing on social media, and more. I highly recommend anyone interested in the world of audio content creation, check out Podbean.